by coming to the church for your marriage, you're basically saying, Lord, this is so important to me. I have such reverence for my fiance. I have such reverence for what we are undertaking that I bring it before you. I set it before you, Lord. Can we have your help? Can you be here with us, Lord? Another effect that happens in the sacrament of marriage is that God is now made present in the two of you as he never was before. Marriage is not a private thing, it's a public matter, which is why you invite all your family and your friends. So today is not just a wedding, it's a commissioning. It's a sending you out as a couple into the world. When we frequent the sacraments, we live in God's world. When we don't, we live in the other world. So Charlie and Sam, I invite you to remain in God's world. He loves you so much. He's absolutely crazy about you. He will make you strong. He will make your marriage thrive. And as your marriage thrives, you will radiate the love of Christ. Know of our prayers and God loves you. First time I met Charlie, I had two thoughts. One was he's really tall, and two was he was equally as down to earth and nice and caring as you are, and you two as a couple just complement each other perfectly, and I'm just so happy that you are now in the hands of someone that I can trust, and now you'll have to deal with her hangriness and her weird obsessions and her bad driving. <laughs> and that's it. So, uh, <laughs> everyone raise a glass. <laughs> Cheers to the new orcas. Oh my gosh, you are so beautiful. Mm. I love you. Are you nervous? No? Are you excited? Yeah. Are you crying? No. I'm not trying not to. Good job, man. I love you. I love you. You look so beautiful. Look at you. She is gorgeous. <laughs> Hi, Charles. Take you, Samantha. Take you, Samantha. To, be my wife. to be my wife. I promise. I promise. To be faithful to you. In good times. And in bad. In sickness. In sickness. And in health. To love you. To love you. And to honor you. To honor you. All the days. All the days of my life. Hi, Samantha. Take you, Charles. Take you, Charles. To be my husband. To be my husband. I promise. I promise. To be faithful to you. To be faithful to you. In good times. In good times. And in bad. And in bad. In sickness. In sickness. And in health. And in health. To love you. To love you. And to honor you. And to honor you. All the days. All the days. Of my life. Of my life. After I found out how she could put up with Charlie snoring, which for those of you who haven't heard, is truly horrendous and alarming, I knew that she was the one for Charlie. Sam, thank you very much for being the best thing that's ever happened to my best friend. And Charlie, if Charlie ends up being half as good a husband as he has been a friend to me, then you will have a wonderful life and marriage together. 
If everyone could please raise a glass to Charlie and Sammy. like so happy that you guys met and you found each other and I think you guys challenge each other to be the best that you both can be and I think that's really all you can ask for in a relationship and I'm so happy that you guys found that in each other um, so please raise your glass to the Horkas Now my distinct honor and privilege to introduce to you for the very first time Mr. and Mrs. Charles and Samantha Horka. 